How are you doing? It's Martin from Gardens for Life. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the greenhouse and how uh, much progress we've been making here and um, also what types of plants we're growing from seed as well. And um, We're going to be um, planting out a lot of the vegetables soon now and some of the flowering bushes we'll probably pot on and then keep them for when we have new gardens established. This is our little um, seating area. You can see all the rocks there. They actually catch the sunlight and the heat, they kind, of, they kind of store the heat until the night time, until the sun goes down and then give it off. And uh, gives us an extra hour or two with maybe a few couple of degrees extra in the evening time. And here there is a few permanent plants that I'll go through at the end of the video. And um, yeah, so you can see here these are the, the pallet uh, tables. There's all the flower pots underneath. But well, simply um, a pallet that's twice the length of a normal pallet and um, we used some um, 3x2s and 4x2s to uh, prop them up and um, some 2x1s for the diagonals and they're super stable. Uh, you can even uh, sit on them or walk on top of them if you wanted to. Uh, we did test them out. So um, here we have a few other types of ochre. It's mostly root vegetables. This is um, ginkgo actually, ginkgo biloba. Here is Chinese yam or cinnamon vine, it's not coming out yet. Here is apios, it's a new one for us this year. It's uh, apios americana. And um, here is Egyptian mint, oriental poppies. Uh, echinacea, white and purple. Spearmint, and here is some uh, red yarrow and some golden yarrow although we're also growing wood metal from cuttings here is some red Russian kale and some marshmallow that can also be easily grown from cuttings and here's all the garlic gotta get that on video before it's gonna be planted out gonna plant out most of it today hopefully if I get a chance Here's some uh, tuberous peas, They're only small yet, and here's some pumpkins and winter squashes, um, red curry, our favorite, and butternut squash, basura pumpkin, there's a few different ones there. Now here's another table, um, bits and pieces here, beetroot, valerian, polonia, um, wood mallow again, here we have a few different types of hollyhock, uh, pink and peach, and licorice. This is all licorice trees. As you can see, they're only tiny yet. We have uh, two licorice trees in the garden that are about oh, two years old now at this stage, and um, they're doing quite well. This is all the different mints here. This is pineapple mint in trays, and um, there's Moroccan mint. Oh, excuse me. This is Moroccan mint here, and this is iced tea, which is a cross between a type of mint and lemon balm. And here is some runner beans, which the slugs didn't get to yet, because of course they're in the greenhouse and well protected by uh, the dryness of the carpet on the floor, but also uh, the, the tables. So here is some white ochres. Lots of them as you can see. Uh, black mallow starting to come out. Uh, there's a few other types of pumpkin here. Mostly black mallow. Here's another table with um, Portuguese kale. That's what it looks like when it's small. And here is more red Russian kale. Garlic chives haven't shown up yet, hopefully they will. A bit of parsley, a bit of angelica, rhubarb, Glaskin Perpetual. It's the only type of uh, variety of rhubarb that we're growing anymore because it's tasty and it can be harvested more or less any time of the year. Here's more Portuguese kale. And here is some dahlias from seed, so we're going to try to give that a go. Uh, here's some pawpaw seeds. I don't see any having come up yet. Here are some other bits and pieces. There are some forage peas. 
here's some more tubers, uh, yakon, various different types of uh, Jerusalem artichoke and some bit more, uh, another variety of yakon there, uh, more types of ochres. So and then over here, there's a bit of a potting area here, so that's why we're not putting down wood chips. As you can see here, there's just carpet and there's the door that we finally put in now. Here's more rhubarb, here's more everlasting peas, fennel, and here there is a new type of Jerusalem artichoke. It's called white truffle, and hopefully we'll be able to offer that to you guys next winter, from November onwards. Here there is another new type of oka. It's called strawberries and cream, and um, it's a lovely color of oka. You can kind of see the color here. It's kind of a dark purple. Here is uh, another type of pumpkin. It's called fairy tale pumpkin. It hasn't come out yet. That's only been planted about a week ago. We got that one from Cedarholic over in um, Galway. Yeah. So for the moment, that's uh, that's all there's to it for new seedlings. And here there is a, it's our bed of permanent plants that we're going to use to take cuttings from and also some grapevines and also some hardy kiwis that are going to grow overhead to um, kind of shade the newly establishing plants in the summertime just so they don't get too hot. We have a few other bits and pieces here. There is a Desert King fig and a, a pink flowering Japanese willow. Here there is a, a goji berry, a lavender, and here is a fig. That's one from France. I think it's called, was it Rouge or not? It's Peretta actually, that one. And um, magnolia. Here's a Josta berry. We have one pepper plant. That we actually bought in the local garden center. I haven't put her with peppers this year yet now because we don't really have the space. We need all the space we can get for growing new plants in the greenhouse. These are all um, uh, red fuzio artichokes who I'm just giving them a head start in here in the greenhouse and these are some of the giant mashua tubers. They didn't even fit into three liter pots and um, you can see they're growing. They're happy out. And I'm going to plant them out soon too. And uh, here's a picture of um, actually what they look like in comparison to a secretaire's. And they're, they're quite substantial now. I challenge anyone to grow bigger mashuas, even though we had them grown with no maintenance at all, just in wood chips and compost. So that's all there's to it for the moment.